In this video, we are learning how to freeze a row or a column or both of them together in Excel. So let's see how it's done. First of all, let's have a look at the options we already have inside Excel. Click View Menu and inside Windows Group, you will find Freeze Pane's drop down button. By clicking it, you can see there are two options already available to us. Let's try the first one, which is called Freeze Top Row. Once I click it, and if I scroll down the worksheet, you can see the first row is unaffected. However, if I move the horizontal scroll bar from left to right, it does scroll with it. Let's try the second option we have, which is about freezing the first column. And if I simply click it and scroll the worksheet from left to right, you will see that first column is unaffected and doesn't change its position. However, if I scroll up and down, it does scroll with it. And if I want to unfreeze any of the row or column already frozen, I will go again to the freeze panes button and click unfreeze panes. And this will unfreeze any column or row already frozen. Now with that understood, let's understand a situation where you want both the first row and first column to be frozen. In order to get this done, you need to have the active cell at the right position. For example, if I want to freeze the first row and the first column, my active cell should be cell B2. In order to activate it, I will simply hover over this cell, push the left click of the mouse, and it will simply highlight, select, or activate it. Once I have the appropriate cell selected, go back to Freeze Panes button and click Freeze Panes. And this will freeze my first column and the first row. To confirm, if I scroll down, you will see the first row is unaffected. And if I scroll to the right, my first column is also in its place, unaffected. And again, if I want to unfreeze it, I'll go back to Freeze Panes button and click Unfreeze Panes. Similarly, if I want to freeze first three rows and first two columns together, I need to have cell C4 as an active cell. Once I have this cell selected, go back to Freeze Panes button and click Freeze Panes. And if I scroll down, you can see my first three rows are unaffected. And also, if I move to the right, my first two columns stays put. Making it simple, just remember whatever number of rows or columns that you desire to be frozen should be at the top and to the left of the selected cell respectively. Once again, understanding it with an example, let's say I want to freeze first four rows and first three columns together. In this case, my active cell should be cell D5. As I can see, there are four rows above this active cell and three columns to the left of this selected cell. To freeze, simply go to freeze panes, click freeze panes, and this will freeze the first four rows and first three columns for me. So there you have it, a simple yet valuable trick you must always remember. If you find this video helpful, do give it a thumbs up. And for future videos, do subscribe to my channel and push the notification bell icon. Until next video, I'm your host Hassan Fazal, signing out. Happy excelling.